Today, me and the girls went shopping and we picked up some things for Operation Christmas Child. I've been doing Operation Christmas Child since I was about seven. I haven't done it every year. Oh, Reagan is escaping. That's okay. I guess she doesn't want to. You don't want to participate? Oh, no, 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 no. Those are for my box. Reagan, no. I don't think, I don't think we can put those in there anyway. Take it to daddy then. Take it to daddy. She just took the Play-Doh, which I don't think we can put that in there anyway, so it's mm -hmm. fine. Um, but we just picked up some things for our shoe box. And yes, I said box. We're only doing one box this year. Most years, I try to do like as many boxes as I can. I'll go to Dollar Tree and get boxes and um, like all different types of toys. But honestly, um, I just felt like... This year I want to do it different instead of just getting dollar toys, which that's fine if that's all you can afford. Whatever you can afford, do that. But I thought instead of just trying to do as many as I can, why not really just get one really good gift? Like, um, instead of spreading my money out over some really cheap gifts, which if that's all you can afford, like I said, that is okay. There's no problem with that. That's what I usually do. But this year I just wanted to switch it up and do something a little different so they can get a really nice gift. Something that you would want to get, you know. Um, and I'm sure they're grateful for anything. But like I said, I don't know. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so I want to show you what we got. And if you don't know about Operation Christmas Child, it is through Samaritan's Purse. Um, it's a Christian organization and they do... All kinds of ministries throughout the world and missions and every year at Christmas they <laughs> she's crazy they take shoe boxes all over the world to children in need who won't get Christmas so that was pretty cool um so let's get started so I bought my shoe box this is an actual Samaritan's Purse shoe box from Hobby Lobby for like two dollars and this is just like, you can just use a regular size shoe box. You can even wrap it. But I will say, like, if you do wrap it, you have to wrap the lid separately because they have to open it and check and make sure and we've got that it's stuff that you can actually put in there. And they have a list. You can't put play in there? I don't think so. Cause it's okay. And we I'm have to do it. I want yeah, that's fine. Just, just one. Just one, okay? <laughs> we also have these cards. Okay, so it sends you this little insert on how to pack your shoebox gift and then the collection national collection week is the same every year i believe november 13th through the 20th and today's november 11th so we've got to get packing so here it is it um says okay get a standard size shoebox to pack a for a boy or girl need shoe boxes pre-printed boxes are available online and like i said i got this one at hobby lobby is plastic and they can even keep this to keep their stuff in so I think that's great um wow toys select quality wow toys such as a doll soccer ball with pump or stuffed animal Bally's my pointer yep. um other gifts filled with other fun toys hygiene items and school supplies and um I think that's great. Pray, most importantly, pray for the child who will receive your gift. Include a personal note and a photo of your family or yourself. Include a $9 donation. $9 is critical to cover shipping and other project costs. Give online through Follow Your Box and discover the destination of your shoebox. I bought some of those before, but I never did end up using them. So I definitely want to do that this year because I want to see where our box goes. And they take pictures when the boxes arrive, and we might even get lucky enough to see who got our box. Yeah. So I hope we get to do that. So I pray that we get to see that. I would love to see which child got our box. Let's show the gifts. 
Yes. And their face and their joy in their face when they get their gift. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, drop off. Take your shoebox gift to a local drop off location during National Collection Week and the third week in November. So if you want to figure out where your locations are, you might already know in your town. You can ask around at local churches. Um, we have a local church where we drop ours off every year, and there are several in our town alone. And you can just go to SamaritansPurse.org slash OCC and there's a place where you can type in your address or your location and it will show all of the closest drop-off locations to you and yeah so send your shoebox gift around the world a donation of nine dollars is critical da, da, da. okay processing shipping to over 100 companies training local churches greatest gift gospel booklets collection yeah and then it has the little cutout and what you do you can do both you can do all six different ones um, you can do as many as you want some people do hundreds some churches get together and have big shoebox packing parties which I think is awesome but we're doing a girl yeah but Briley wanted to do a girl that's, that's her nice. age so we're gonna do the girl five to nine years old so we'll just cut this out and tape it to the top of our box and check this box so, and then you would buy for a nine-year-old girl like us, if that's what you choose to do. If you choose a two-year-old boy, you buy toys for a two-year-old boy. So, it is important, though, there are certain things that you cannot pack. I don't... Like liquid stuff. Right. Um, there's more on that at um, SamaritansPurse.org, but it's mainly like you can't pack... Medicine, vitamins, food, liquid, um, hard, you can put hard candy, but no like meltable kind of candy because like you got to think this stuff's got to go through processing. It can take a while to get where it's going, so you don't want it to be ruined and ruin everything else in your box. Mm -hmm. So definitely don't pack like liquids. They don't want you to pack any like weapons because some of these gifts go to like war-torn villages and countries and it's just just don't put anything with guns or knives or yeah they don't even really like to put toy soldiers and stuff because some of the kids are scared of those yeah. so um just like teddy bears baby dolls crayons markers toy cars Wait. um shoes socks hats gloves Wait, these liquids like if you leave it down and like leaks out on paper yeah, but they're wrapped in plastic, so it should be fine. Um, yeah, so, and definitely um, get new stuff. Don't put used stuff. stuff in your boxes, please. You would want to get something new and not used. That would be kind of rude. Yeah, just a little. So, anyway, Let's it's fine to things. give, like, people you know hand-me-downs, like your friends and family, but this is supposed to be a gift to show the love of God and, yeah. Let's give them something worth giving. You know what I mean, but you can make children happy all over anyway. the world. Anyway, hold on, let me pause. Yeah. All right, open this box for me, Miss Bradley. Okay, I, I don't. There you go. All right, so box is open. Let's see if we can fit this stuff in here. I gotta take my jacket off. It is hot. I don't think we can put this snuggy tails in. Well, what we'll do is we'll take it out of the box. It is okay to take your stuff out of the packaging if you need to to make it fit, which is looking like we're going to have to do that. You can put stuff in plastic bags and things like that. This is crazy. These are markers. But hey, you know what? We forgot. Oh, no, we didn't. I thought we forgot to get paper, but this has a pad in it. That's right. Also, we have this really cute Barbie. Yeah, we got a Barbie. We got markers, 50 markers. And, and we got this mermaid tail thing. Yes, we got a mermaid tail blanket, and snuggy sleeping, tails. And a sleeping on a place. Yes, and I've got these two. These are actually from um, some like Chick-fil-A, Kid Meal, and or Happy from, Meal, and Wendy's. Yeah. So you can also collect these throughout the year. I had several collected, but Miss Reagan already opened them. Yeah. So we, couldn't, we only had two left, so I'm going to throw those in there. So now should we... Yes. Begin? So what we're gonna do? We're gonna have to open the, the, this. We're gonna have to open this too. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out and put them in the box in the bottom. But I'm also going to include this. I'm just going to roll it up and include it so they can put their markers in there once they get them. They're just not going to fit like this. I don't believe. See? No, not going to fit. So. Get this tape. Oh, I'm getting it. You might have to get Daddy to open it with his knife. He carries it around as you get out to open something. And I will say, sometimes at the processing places, these boxes all have to be, they have to go through these boxes and make sure nobody puts anything dangerous, like knives or weapons or drugs or, you know, just anything that cannot go. Um, yeah, make kids go crazy. Yeah, or hurt them or anything or mess up your box. So they do go through these boxes. So you really don't have to worry about packing it just perfectly because they do have to go through every single thing in your box before it gets sent. So as long as it fits, you're good. They're going to go through it anyway. And sometimes they'll even take things out of your box. If you have a lot in your box and there's another box that's kind of skimpy, um, they will um, sometimes take things out of your box and put it in another box. But that's okay as long as, you know, a kid's getting helped. You're getting a gift? No, don't take off the tag. Also comes with this really cute flower on it. Yes. Also, my friend Bella has one of these. You have one too. Wait, Yours is, yeah. Oh, I thought there was only one. <laughs> Spoiled child doesn't even know what she has. I don't even see what she did. So how do you feel about sending a child, a poor child somewhere in the world, a nice Christmas gift? How does it make you feel? It makes me happy because they all make the kids happy. Right. I agree. We should fold this back up. So. Alright. So you hold the camera while I unbox some things. Okay. Got it? Try, to be, try not to shake it around too much. So let's put the biggest thing in here next. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit everything in this box. I don't know either. We might have to take some of these markers out. Or wrap. You know what? We can wrap them in. The blanket. Yes. And we can also wrap these two in the blanket and this one. Yeah, really? We could probably put everything in the blanket. I don't know. Should we put? Let's see. Yeah, we're probably going to have to put everything in the bike. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to stick this in here. I'm not good at holding cameras. Trying to keep the camera. Okay, this is flat. We're going to stick that in the bottom. You having troubles? Yes, always. <laughs> Put the Barbie. Yeah, the Barbie's gonna have to come out of the box, which is okay. I hate to do that though because I want them to. What the heck is this? What is that? Oh, that's a gel pack. We definitely have to throw that away so your sissy does not get it. That's dangerous. That ran me right beside me. I don't know why. Alright, so. She's pretty. She's so, so, so pretty. <laughs> we know you want the Barbie doll. You don't have to tell us why. I know, but like, I just got a new a Rapunzel doll. It's super cool. Yeah, but it keeps getting hair out of its head. It's falling out. At least it didn't go into my food or my drinks. I really like the adults really pretty. I think she's just laying down with Danny in the bed watching a movie. She may be watching Stitch. Also guys, if you didn't know, we're in the guest bedroom. 
And we got approved today from our second home study for foster care. And so guess what? She said we might be able to have a foster kid in two weeks. I know. So we might have somebody in this room in two weeks. I'm so excited. They might feel uncomfortable, but it's okay. We'll try to make the best of it and make them happy. Yes, we will, baby. I don't know what foster care is like. Well, you're about to find out. I wonder where they're going to be from. I don't know. Hope it's a language we can understand. Oh, yeah. It'll definitely be a language we can understand more than likely. Maybe not. No, yeah, they'll only give us kids that can understand what we say. Yeah. Now, if we understand. knew another language, we could get a child. I can. Well, that's like another language. I can do Unos Dos Tres, like that <laughs> stuff, but no, I cannot do other languages. Yeah. There we go. Got that one out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's a pencil sharpener in here. I don't know if that counts as a weapon. If, I mean, it is a razor. I, I mean, it's a pencil sharpener. So She needs something to write with. There's a calculator. So I'm going to put the pencil sharpener in here. They can take it out if it isn't safe. I'm not really sure. I don't think I've ever packed one before. There's two pencils, an eraser, also and at the end of the bed. two notepads, which are pretty flat, so I can put those on bottom. Also, I have this really big sword that I, I don't remember where I got it, but I think it's from an aquarium. I don't remember, but it's really cool. I don't remember what I call it, but, in, but since I found it, I'm going to call it the Fire Sword of Justice. You would. Hey, it looks cool. Looks like I have a unicorn horse with a sword. But I'm not giving it away. Because it counts as a weapon. But I also like it. I have no idea where to play with it. It's really cool. Well, I don't know what this is. What? Oh, it's hair things. Put in her hair. Oh, let me go ahead and stick those in there so they'll know. Oh, it's two different ones. Cool. Yeah, they're really cool. And the oh, and then she's got an and in the kingdom of Arndell. Elsa's my favorite. Even though she has a very bad past with her sister and all. She's really pretty. And I like snow powers. You getting this? Yes. You got my head cut off, don't you? A little bit, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> a toy is flying, and that fell. <laughs> Looking at mommy. Now I'm gonna put it back down so you can see the box. Oh. Okay. Let me put the bed together. This is gonna make the bed super messy. Okay. Also, I have a Sims 4 pack that's loading. Yeah, she's so excited about her new Sims pack. Guess what? I get three more on Christmas. <laughs> if you don't know what Sims 4 is, look up Sims 4 and it has a bunch of packs. There's also a new one with a Gotham guitar, I think. But it's only one item. Uh, Anna, I know you snore because I've seen it. Alright, let's <laughs> hope that this blanket spit. Fit. Fold it like you do every day with clothes in this room. Regular day folding. Right. The Let's moment we've the been best. waiting for. <laughs> this is not gonna close. <laughs> oh no. Also, we went to go eat and um, we went to the store. Because we had an Outback gift card that oh we my. won at Family Day for Wes's work. I think we might need some tape for this. <laughs> Let's just see if I can get this lid on. Te technical difficulties. Alright, so something's got to go. <laughs> I know. So maybe we could just take... Yeah, that out because it's not. No, what are you doing? It's gonna make a child be sad. What am I saying? 
It's just a Happy Meal thing. So it's just a little Happy Meal. Good. I can build it. Yeah. <sighs> this is going to make Child a little bit happy because they lost a toy. Well, they don't know. They won't know. Yeah. What they don't know won't hurt them. See? That worked. There. It looks like it's about to pop open, but... It oh, probably well. is. We can put some tape on it, though, but there is our shoe box. Now we've got to cut out our label and tape it on there, and it will be ready to ship. And we'll just drop it off at the church Monday. Wait, at the church? I thought we were supposed to go, like, another adoption center or nope. something. We drop it off at a local church. Oh. And it's ready to go. Yep. And then we're going to cut out the girl. So, thank you for watching us pack our shoebox. Help us good luck. 